Don't get me wrong folks, I love the footage that comes out of my drone, but let's be honest, drones can be a little bit of a faff. So what if there's something else out there that bridged the gap between your camera and your drone to give you a different point of view? I think I might have the answer. Let's get stuck right in. And here it is folks, this here is a Hover Air X1. It is a little pocket flying camera that will follow you around and has several different modes which I'll go through some shortly but basically I've got some notes written down here it comes with a triple stabilization so you'll see there it's got a little gimbal it also has the image stabilization which is electronic and thirdly it's got the horizon leveling as well so you should get a nice level smooth shot and winds up to I think it's around eight miles per hour the manufacturer's weight is 125 grams. On my scales, it came in at 130 grams. If you throw in the spare battery and the little travel bag, it weighs a total of 188 grams, if you want to be precise. Uh, it shoots in 2.7K at 30 frames per second, or you can do 1080p HDR. So although it doesn't shoot 4K, the 2.7K footage does actually come out quite nice and I'll show you some test footage in a moment. The storage is inbuilt, it doesn't have the ability to put a memory card in it but it comes with 32 gigabytes of internal storage so it's got plenty of storage in there for all your footage. The battery capacity is a 1050 milliamps so you get a decent amount of footage out of one battery. Not amazing but certainly enough and if you get the combo pack which have set me you get the dual charging port with a spare battery and the little travel case as well. The packaging that came in was quite impressive, all very premium and um, what we'll do is I'll just insert the battery for you. So you put the back end in first and then that should just clip in nicely like so. These fold up and then into this little travel case like so. You can see that it's really small. Okay, enough with the house chat. Let's get some test footage with this little drone. I'm fighting against the sunlight here. It sets in about half an hour, so a little bit of a rush, but let's get some footage. So to get this set up, simply unfold it, hold down the power button. It should all light up in a second. And then just give it a few seconds and you should hear the prompt. There you go. Current mode. Zoom out. So it's in the zoom out mode, so let's have a shot of that. So basically I'm just going to sit this in the palm of my hand. And then hold it like so. And then hopefully it will just take off in a minute. Come on. So you have to press the power button to register that. And there we go. So I should do the zoom out. The red's gone, the light's gone red. That's just zooming out now. And it's coming back. And hopefully she just land in my hand nicely. There we go, just like that. So what we'll do now is we'll try a different mode. We'll go for... Follow. We'll go for a follow shot. And again, I'll just tap that button once. So as soon as it takes off, move your hand away and just walk away. And you'll hopefully see the little hover here that's just following me around. I'll stick my hand back out. It'll take a few seconds to register that. If it doesn't, just stand underneath it with your hand, like so, and it'll land back on your, your hands like that. So it's really clever. There is some caveats. You can't fly this over water. Um, the max height above ground is 15 metres, so if you wanted to do a cliff top shop, you couldn't have it going over the cliffs and then there's a bigger drop underneath. It might confuse the sensors, because you'll see there, there are sensors underneath and that basically 
it reads the texture of the ground. So if it's more than 50 metres, it'll struggle. Can't do water and you're fine with ice. I've tried it with snow. It was fine with snow as well. So just bear that in mind. There is no collision sensors as well. So make sure you're in a big open area, like a mountain top, like I usually am, or in this scenario, a big open field. So what I'll do is before the sun sets, I'll just show you a few more modes in this as well. Um, orbit. I've not tried orbit yet, so we'll go for that. Six meters orbit. Six meters orbit. So orbit zooming out just now. It's going to spin round. It's just above the hedge behind me there. <laughs> well, it's only like two, three metres. So that's just doing its thing. In your old time, mate. I think that's it done, I'll stick my hand out. Look at that, it's coming to me. Don't even have to put a treat in the hand like the dog. There we go. So that's used up one segment of the battery there. So we've had two goes of that. So we'll try something else now. Bird eye. So we'll go for the bird eye and I'm assuming that's going to rise above me and shoot directly below me. Again, just one click of the power button just to register that. So this would be good if I'm putting my tent up just to get that bird eye view. It's going higher still. And now it's coming back down. I'll just capture that. Uh, oh, oh. There we go. Still got two segments of battery, so what we'll do now is we'll do another follow. Hover. We'll try the hover actually, I don't think we've had the hover, have we? Continue. <clears throat> hover. Oh, it's freezing by the way. Right, so it's locked on now, the red lights, if I walk away. Yeah, it's just going to stay with that. It's very similar to the last one, actually. It's just going to follow me around. And then hand back out. So within the app, you'll see from the home page that there's other users' footage there. If you click on hover, and then you can click on hover settings, you can see that it's got all the basic stuff that we went through earlier. It's got hover, zoom out, follow, orbit, bird's eye, and custom. You can also record sound with this, but I've heard in other videos it's not that good, so I'm not even going to touch that. Firmware update we just did, the storage management, we've got 22 gigabytes remaining, voice on, IMU calibration, hover language, English, unit of length, meter. Um, so that's fine if we go back one. We've got the different modes, we've tried all that. I hope you find that little demonstration useful on how to use this little flying camera and give you an idea of what sort of footage you can expect from it. It's getting really cold, the sun is set, so I'm going to go back to the house, finish this video. Do stick around though, because I'm going to show you some mountain footage that I captured from the top of a Scottish mountain in snowy conditions. So stick around for that and I'll bring you back. <laughs>
if anything I would say it was just a little bit too sharp for me but otherwise I'll simply use this again for my YouTube channel uh, I've also used it for Instagram I got that 2.7k footage I stretched it into the 916 aspect ratio and I stuck it on Instagram so you could use it for TikTok as well and I'll put a link to my Instagram as well if you want to go check out that footage but yeah for me it's a cracking little camera perhaps a tad too expensive I think these retail around £350 but when you factor in the sort of technology that's built into this it is quite impressive but otherwise that is all I've got time for if you've got any questions let me know in the comment section below otherwise I'll catch you next one cheers